Okay, so first off, let's just break down the GUI of the initial audio master suite, and then we'll show how we can finish off a track in just a couple of steps. So let's go left to right. We've got analog and THD. So analog changes the frequency response of master suite to have more of an analog feel. THD, which is total harmonic distortion, in fact, distorts the entire signal and we start at a really low percent and we can crank that up to almost unrecognizable distortion, but we've got the full range to use. Moving just over to the middle section here, we've got our LUFS meter. Our LUFS meter is a really great measurement. It's the standard for measuring overall loudness of a track. And when you get the track just right, it will in fact go a green color. If you're going for lower levels for some of the streaming platforms, you need to sit just below it and somewhere between like the 16 to 14 marker. If you're pushing it for a little bit louder, like a more of a commercial release, it's going to go to radio, CD, something like that. The LUFS meter will indicate that you're in that range by turning the GUI green, which is really, really helpful. And the loudness measurement of how much you need to push it in or bring it back is controlled by the control just here in the center. On the right hand side, we've got the ceiling. By default, it is set to 0.1 giving just enough headroom for a good master, but you can gauge it to as far back as minus three dB. You shouldn't ever really need to go further back than that. Even the most compressed MP3 would be absolutely fine with around one dB of headroom, but you can also put it right the way to zero, but it's always a brick wall limiter right there. Across the bottom section, we've got compression. Now the compressor is a smart compressor in this case, so it doesn't give you attack and release systems it all is always there and it looks at the audio coming in and compresses it but you do have the soften ability this is the same as adding a soft knee in a regular compressor and we can gauge that in just by controlling it here and we have our compression meter for how much is going in and that's based on the loudness meter being pushed into it so this pushes into the compression there. Then got an EQ with boost and cut across three different bands, low, mid, and high, with ranges of six dB either way. So an overall 12 decibel range. And then something super useful, we've got the stereo image, and we've got a mono and stereo aspect. Now this is really useful to make sure that the low end of your track is gonna be always mono compatible, especially on a club mix. So I'll quite often find myself bringing it up to around 80, as high as 120 hertz, just to make sure everything below that range stays in mono. It is important that you listen to your mix when you do this and make sure nothing is lost in the process. And then if your mix is quite narrow and you want to give some extra stereo width to it, we have a stereo control. This will not affect anything on the mono control. So anything below the frequency set here will not be affected by the stereo control. Super useful. So just using those controls, we can absolutely finish off a track and get it sounding sweet. So let's dive into that. First things first, I'm gonna make it a little larger. So in the bottom right corner, we've got these three little tabs and we can drag the display out make that a little bit larger. And then I'm gonna find a relevant bit of our track to listen over. So we want sort of one of the louder sections. We've got a pretty good mix here. Now, one of the things Master Suite lets us do is see our LUFS measurement. It's just here at the top. Now, depending what platform we're gonna go for, we're looking at different measurements with LUFS. And something like Spotify, YouTube, and streaming, we're gonna look to be somewhere between minus 16 and minus 14. So here, we can definitely add a little bit of loudness. And we can do that with the control just here, and it measures in dB. <laughs> See, we can comfortably add a couple of decibels there of extra loudness. Now, we can compress this down. There's lots of space in this mix. We can make use of the compressor as well. The compressor is a smart compressor, so it takes into account the audio being fed into it rather than offering you an attack and decay parameter. So we can see that... So we can see that compression is already happening in the meter here we can choose how mixed in it would be. 
And we can also soften it off. Quite a warm sounding track but we do have the analog and THD options we could try to fatten it up a bit we can switch on analog see how that sounds so analog gives us some really sizzling highs it's kind of nice THD might add a little bit of extra warmth and fatness Now it's already quite a nice stereo mix, but just to be sure on the low end, we're gonna use the mono control here and bring it to around 100 Hertz, just to make sure that all that low bass is kept nice and mono for the master. very last thing when the touch here I think we can benefit from a little bit of a mid boost on the EQ and dial back just a little bit on the high That right there is the finishing touches to our beat. Let's A and B it. there we have it guys that's how we could put the final finishing touches and master a beat with the initial audio master suite 